Hi everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. Happy Friday! It's time for Facebook Friday again. I've been gone for two weeks and I'm excited to be with you again. If you're watching the replay, thank you. I know we can't always all make it um, on time or at the right time or at the same time, so hopefully you can find time to watch it later. Um, so I'm going to do a couple of sharing things and then I would like to share with you guys all the things that I got while I was in Alaska on the um, incentive trip. Hi ladies, I see everybody joining now. Hi Joy, how are you? Let's see, I'm going to post this here, make sure I do the right thing. Okay, tap to share. Um, hi Susan. Hi everybody. All right. So let's see. I've got so much stuff all over the place because I have so much to show you. Um, let's see. I think I did that right. I think I shared it in the right place. I hope. Let me move the computer out of the way and we'll, we will get started. Hello in Sweden. Very nice. Okay. So all right, good, I can see all of your comments. So you guys, I just got back from the Stampin' Up! Incentive trip. Some of you probably know that, and it was amazing. This year we went to Alaska, we did a week-long cruise um, through Alaska and Canada, and then my family went and spent uh, four or five days with Angela McKay's family at their lake cabin in Sorrento, BC, Lake Shuswap, Shoe Shuswap. It was amazing. It was amazing. And it was really hot, which I wasn't expecting. Um, you know, I live in South Texas where it's 100 degrees for six months straight. And so I was really looking forward to some cooler weather. And it definitely was cooler, but at the lake especially, it was in the upper 90s. Um, but on the cruise, um, we actually were cold on the boat. But as soon as we got off in Juneau and Skagway and Victoria, we were super hot. I brought all the wrong clothes. I was not wearing the right things. Who would think that you would need flip-flops and shoe and uh, shorts for Alaska? Anyhow, it was still wonderful. It was beautiful things we've never seen before. My kids were in awe of the mountains and the icebergs and um, the glaciers. We learned all kinds of things about glaciers. So it was really, really amazing. Um, one thing that makes Stampin' Up! Trips super, super extra amazing are all the incentive gifts, or I guess they're not called incentive gifts, um, just gifts, surprises that they give us. Um, you might have seen some already from other people online, but I thought I would take a few minutes and show you some of the things we got. The first thing that we got was this awesome jacket, and I had already brought like two jackets because I didn't know what I needed. So then I had a third jacket and then it wasn't even cold. It was cold on the boat. So I got to wear this one a lot. Super cute. It's that thick sweatery material. I have no idea what you call it, but you know, here in South Texas, this would be perfect for my winter coat, honestly. And then it has a little stamping up there and it says stamping up on the back. It's a really, really nice sweater. So I don't know, I think this might be my favorite thing they gave us. I'll probably say that a couple of times, but one of my favorite things. Um, another thing that they gave us, they gave us a lot of product too, which I'm gonna show you in a second, but um, they gave us a blanket. And it was funny because the first two days um, that we were there, we liked to sit out on the deck and we were freezing. And um, I said to my husband, tomorrow when we're in um, our first stop, Juno, we gotta buy a blanket. And luckily we forgot because that night, we got a blanket pillow gift and it even says stamping up on it. So I love it. It's a nice little light blanket. Um, let's see, the last day, one of the things that we got was this scratch map. And I love this. This is kind of like, um, you know, like a lotto ticket where you scratch it off with a penny. That's what this is like. So you can scratch off all the places that you visited. I thought that was really a smart gift on Stampin' Up's part. And then um, we got this bag oh, and it has all my product in it. So look how cute it is. If you saw the suitcase that we got, um, if we were, if you were in the top 100 um, in November, you got an awesome suitcase that has this on it. And so now we have this giant gorgeous bag um, that matches. So I don't know, maybe that's my favorite thing that I got. I don't know. I used it instead of my purse on the way home and it held everything that I needed. Um, 
Okay, so I don't know what the best way to do. Just I'm just going to go through here and show you. Most of this is from the upcoming holiday catalog. Um, so the holiday catalog goes live September 5th. And here it is. Just in case you guys haven't seen it, here it is. Um, one thing to note about this, I'm getting some questions already. I don't even have them yet. We were able to order them on the 1st. So as you know, it takes a while for me to process. I send out about between about 250 to 300. And so it takes me about a week to get them labeled, packed, stamps, all that. So just know that if you've ordered with me in the last six months, you will be getting one. If you haven't ordered with me in the last six months and you'd like one, just let me know. Just shoot me an email, preferably, um, and let me know and I will add you to my list. So anyway, this is what we got the first day. Hi, Kimberly. And uh, this is the new holiday catalog. So a lot of these things I'm gonna show you are from the holiday catalog, which is really fun because we couldn't even order them at that point. So uh, let's see, I'll show you the paper first. And I didn't know what the best way to do this is because probably would be better for me to turn the camera down so you could see it. But I'm just gonna kind of do a highlight reel for you because you know, we still have a month. We can't really even do anything with it, but I want to give you an idea of what's coming. This paper is called Joyous Noel, and it's got the shimmery stuff on one side, and then kind of, um, you know, Christmassy, oh, I'll just take it up, Christmassy uh, Cherry Cobbler, and I think Emerald Envy. So if you like deep, rich Christmas colors, this will be the paper for you. Um, and then, of course, if you like the really like that one. It has the shimmery, the copper shimmer on parts of it. And then here's another Christmas paper. I haven't even opened it yet, you guys. Um, I was really worried about getting it home and not damaged, but luckily it all, it all survived pretty good. So this reminds me kind of of the birthday paper we had in the um, occasions catalog and like the, if I can remember the name of it, the tea themed, no, not the tea themed paper, the Petal Promenade, right? I think that's what it's called. Anyway, it's that photographic, you know, where they lay stuff out and take real photographs. And then it also has just kind of um, general patterns for you to, um, to use. I don't know, I really like this. I think this is a good, like, neutral type Christmas um, where you can use, it's not too busy. Um, and look at these, these are really pretty. And these were all photographed in-house is what they told us, which is pretty cool. All right, so there's that one. Now here's my favorite. You guys, you know what comes before Christmas? And you know what comes before Thanksgiving? Halloween. And Halloween is my favorite thing to craft. Favorite. So look at this. It's called Toil and Trouble. And this is the cutest little witch on here. If I can get it out. So guess what will be a class in September? This. I promise you. It's got matching stamps and framelits. And it's so super cute. So this will be my Halloween class in September. And it's got the framelits so that'll cut her out. And look at the purple, good purple. I love orange, black, and purple. Pumpkins, hello. I used the heck out of pumpkins last year from some paper that we had. Um, I haven't even really looked closely at this, but I love it. We've got a bat punch that punches out the bats. I'll show you that, we did get that. Oh, cute little frogs, look at the little frogs. Hadn't even noticed that. So cute. And the, oh, yeah. So, so cute. I don't have the stamp set. It's coming today, actually, in my pre order. I'm sure the UPS man will be here anytime. He lives to come during my life. Here's the punch, the bat punch. I guess I should take it out so you guys can see it. Bat punch. Punches those bats. Um, okay, so those are the three packs of paper I got. We also have a new tool coming, hopefully. You have already heard someone talking about it. It's amazing. It's called the, I can't remember, Take Your Pick tool. And it looks like this. And it is kind of um, like the Swiss Army knife for crafters, right? This uh, little pen deal. And it has this stuff here on the end that's putty. I haven't really even opened it. And it picks up little tiny things like your sequins and little eyes that you maybe you punched out or you cut out. So it picks those up really easily. And then this end has a, I described it like a tiny little spatula, you know, like pick things up um, or scrape things, but it's, it's real skinny. And then there's another end that you can add, which is our stylus. So this can be used on your Simply Scored 
and to, um, you know, score paper. Yay. All right, so there's that. That's called the, why can't I remember it? Take your pick. Take your pick. Oh, thanks guys for sharing the video. I do appreciate that. Haven't even asked you and you've already done it. They gave my husband a fun water bottle. All the second guests, um, when they when you earn the trip, you earn it for you and someone else. So um, they gave this for the someone else little cute water bottle. And my husband actually works for a, a wood company. They sell wood to home builders. So I thought that was pretty, pretty cool for him. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, la, 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 la. What should I show you? Let me show you the other non product and then I'll show you all the rest. This is, and look, the box got real beat up, but I think it's okay. Um, this is really cool. Sam and I got really clever this time with the gifts that they gave us. It's a speaker, a portable speaker. And it says stamping up. So cute. I love when I can get things that say stamping up on them. Okay, so let, let's let's look at stamps and framelits because those are always our favorite. Merry Christmas to all. Lots of words, which I like, but I love the framelits even more because they're words also. I guess I should have opened these ahead of time, sorry. Look, words. I love when we can cut words out of paper. Oh, love it. We've needed these. We've needed some, some word framelits. Um, okay, next up is, oh yes, I love this one. Um, look, it's a light bulb, the little Christmas lights making Christmas bright. And look how cute the fonts are on that. And then there's a punch that punches the lights. And there's a second stamp set in the catalog that's also a light, the little Christmas light, but it's, it has little things in it for all year. I think like a bunny and you know, you can use it for all the different occasions throughout the year. Um, let's see, I got two embossing folders, corrugated, which is like cardboard. You know, when you rip a box and it's all the, the wavy inside, that's what corrugated is. We used to carry paper like this. Now we can make all of our paper corrugated. And then swirls and curls, which, is fancy. I really like that one. Um, let's see what else, what else, what else? Oh yes, this is gonna be very popular. Dashing Deer. He's beautiful, look at him. There's several sent sentiments in that set. And the Detailed Deer Thinlets, which are gorgeous, like ugh, even by themselves. Look at that, look at all that. Wow, I am trying to ignore all of this for right now because it's too early for me to work on this and I've got a thousand other things to work on. Um, but I cannot wait to get my hands on it. All right, so, oh, also, here's a little thing that was on our door. It's a, it's actually a frame. See, I can put a picture in there and it's got magnets on the back. That was cute. So those are all pillow gifts. They leave them on your pillow. You come back from dinner and you have a present every night. Then there was also the hospitality room where you go down and you spin a wheel and you win a prize and every day it was something different. So one day I won um, the best route to memory and more, memories and more uh, cards. <laughs> and then one day I won some new ribbon. This is real red, what are they calling it? Real red satin. Oh, mixed satin ribbon. Um, and then I got this one, which is my favorite, I think, right now, the gorgeous grape stri mini stripe ribbon. And here's one that's new. Um, it's like the two that we have already, the granny apple, which we're gonna use today on our project, um, and the gray, but this is Poppy Parade. So that'll be perfect for Christmas time. Some washi tape, Christmas washi. And then my friend Angela, if you watched our video, we split the ribbon that we won. So she got half of the poppy parade and I got half of her black, and I don't know the name, sparkle, sparkly ribbon. Perfect for that Halloween class. And then one day I got um, these red rhinestones, which we're using today also. And one day, I think this came in a pillow gift, but these are little clips. There's um, Christmas tree and a star, those are cute. I love clips a lot. And then, um, I think this was at General Session, we got some of this too, I can't even remember. Um, these are 
The Memories and More cards and envelopes. So they're sized perfectly for the Memory and More cards that you can put them on here and turn them into a greeting card. The envelope and the card base are the perfect size, so you don't have to cut down cardstock, which is great. I definitely plan on doing a class with the, the Memories and More from the Holiday Catalog. It's really cute. Okay, I think that's it. Oh, oh no, wait. There's one more thing. I think, what's in the pocket? Nothing. Okay, I also got a pack of neutral six by six DSP, and this is gonna be one of our prizes today. So if you share the video, you'll be entered to win either this or my favorite mini striped ribbon, okay? So if you would share, that would be awesome. All right, I think that's all from the, from the haul, from the, the cruise that I wanted to show you. It's really amazing. Um, being a demonstrator has lots of perks, but earning a free trip is definitely a good one. I always tell my husband, why doesn't your job give you trips? <laughs> and he's like, I don't know, I'll tell him. But um, anyway, so that was the cruise. Thank you for everybody who placed an order in last year because you helped me earn it. And this year you've already helped me earn Greece. Um, so Again, I just hope you guys know how grateful I am for every single order that I receive. I am very grateful. They also announced the next trip for 2020, which is Maui, and I have never been to Hawaii, and that has been the number one thing on my bucket list, so my husband and I got super excited about that. Okay, so now I've got some other things to tell you. Um, okay, again, the holiday catalog, if you just joined us, you will get one of these. Um, I plan on shipping them around the 15th of August, hopefully, maybe even earlier. If you've ordered with me in the last six months, you'll get one. If you um, haven't ordered with me but you want one, I'll still send you one. You just have to let me know, okay? Th this does not go live September 1st. It goes September 5th, okay? So, so I've been hearing people say September 1st, but it's September 5th through January 2nd, okay? So we still have a good over a month to go for that. So we're just going to play with what we can play with now, and then we'll look at that as we get closer, okay? Okay, so some announcements. You guys, bonus days. Have you heard about bonus days? In August, for every $50 you spend online, when you put in an order on stampinup.com, you're gonna get a $5 coupon to spend in September. Um, and they're cumulative. So if you spent $100, you're gonna get two of them, and you can use them both together next month on your order. Um, so it would be $10 off your order. And um, they email you a coupon code. And so you just put it somewhere safe in your email. And then next month you pull it up and you copy and paste the code. It's really easy. It worked beautifully last year. So that is important to remember. So if, you're, if your order is $45, bump it up to 50 at least so you'll get the $5 coupon, okay? Um, don't forget that. That's very important. Um, the next thing I want to tell you is the new tutorial bundle is out. I posted about it a couple of days ago. We usually do a blog hop on the second of the month, but this month we're doing it later in the month. It's gonna be next week. Th these are the tutorials that I give away for free with a $50 order. Um, I email them out about once a week to everybody who's ordered, and um, it includes 12 tutorials. This is the first month, we do them in six month rounds. So this is the first month in a six month round. You can see we've got some new designers on here. Um, there are several ways to get it for free. You spend $50, um, you join my team because they get all my PDFs for free. You can also subscribe. Maybe you're a demonstrator already and you don't want to order from me but you would like the PDF. These are $15 each month but if you subscribe you get six months for the price of five. You can pay it in a full, like upfront, or I can bill you every month for it. And then the last month it comes for free. Um, so if you're interested in that, the information is on my blog and it's also on the PDF for today, which I'll point out to you. Um, what was the other thing I was gonna tell you? Also, you can just buy it in my PDF store if you just want the one. But it, it features, let me kind of show you. Well, I can't really show you very well, but anyway, full color, step-by-step -step tutorials um, by 12 dem Stampin' Up! demonstrators from around the world. All right, so that's a, that's a fun one to have, and it's a really good one this month. They're always good. I don't know. They're always good. Okay, next up, super important. If you want my Broadway birthday class, the deadline is August 7th, which is Tuesday. 
So you've got to register for this. Remember, we've got three cards, an explosion box, and a treat box. If you want this class to go, you have to register by August 7th, which is Tuesday. It includes, there's four options. Option one includes the bundle with a bolt of ribbon. You get the ribbon for free when you choose option one. Option two is just the make and takes and the ribbon and the PDF. Option three is just the PDF. You can always go and buy my class PDFs in my PDF store anytime, $15 immediately emailed to you if you want to use it in your own business or you just want to craft maybe you already have this and you want to you want to make it so that's always there and then the fourth option is for my team my team always gets my classes um, super cheap so it's just twelve dollars for my team um, that is if you're looking for that link let me show you um, I always have a PDF for my Facebook Fridays this week's almost didn't get done <laughs> I'm not going to lie. It's been hard getting back into the swing of things, but it's done. Here it is. It should be hopefully posted over on my blog. And on the second page right here, you'll see there's a direct link that you can type in and uh, it'll take you right there um, for the details. If you want to read over the details and if you want to purchase, so that's there, but don't wait Tuesday. Um, okay. The second thing I want to tell you is this right here. I'm having a one day retreat on September 1st. That's the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. And it's I'm calling it Summer Memories because all of my projects are gonna focus on traveling and kind of recording your summer memories. And I'm using the Best Route Suite. And this retreat is higher priced than my previous retreats because it includes $50 in product. Um, you're gonna leave there with $50 in product. And we're also gonna have a whole bunch of make and takes. If you're in the San Antonio area, um, I would love for you to come. I, I'm very limited with my space, so you gotta make sure you register soon if you wanna come. But I'm also offering um, my kit, my retreat kit to go. Um, so you can have the whole day basically mailed to you and it will include my pillow gifts that I do all the make and takes all the products all the little surprises they'll be in there and I have not yet designed everything but I can show you one thing that we'll be making a mini album that is in the shape of a suitcase super cute promise you guys it's gonna be really good so if you're interested in either the local one day retreat or the retreat to go just type that the URL I've got two of them right here just type it in and it'll take you to all the information and where you can register also um, if you're in the South Texas area and you want to come come please this is open to anybody who wants to come it's at the Courtyard Marriott at the rim and so if you need a hotel room, it's right there in the hotel. So you could always stay there and make a weekend of it. Okay, let's see. So I've got all that mentioned, announcements. Yep, yep, yep. I think I might be getting close to, to stamping. I feel like I've been talking now, yeah, for 20 minutes. Okay, prizes. Would you guys like to do prizes first? Um, last week, or no, two weeks ago, I was giving away the a big thank you bundle. So, Miss Robin Martin, who actually happens to be on my team, your name was picked randomly. So, Robin, I have your address. I will be sending that to you on Monday. And then I promised to choose two people who shared the video um, to win these in color embossing tubes. There's five colors. So, I have two winners Amanda Flavin. I don't know, Amanda, if I butchered your name. Amanda, I don't have your address. So Amanda, please email me, message me your address, Amanda. And the other one is Gail. Gail's always so good about sharing. Thank you so much, both of you. Gail, um, I don't have your address either. So message me and I will get these out to you. Thank you. I really, really do appreciate when you guys share my videos. Now this week, I told you sharing, we will be giving away, I don't know where it went, the DSP, and the ribbon, but if I'm also doing a giveaway on my blog, so you have to go over to pinkbuckaroo.com, scroll down to the bottom of today's post, and you'll see a, it's a widget, and you just enter your information. You have to be in the United States, though, twin, okay? And I'm giving away, how about all the new color markers? Yeah, hello. All right, so go over and enter to win. Everybody is welcome to enter, okay? 
as long as you're in the United States. Um, we're not allowed to ship product across borders, so I apologize to all of my international friends. All right, I think we are ready to stamp. If this is the first time you've ever joined me for Facebook Friday, I always do three projects, and um, I will send the make and takes to you for free if you place an online order between now and Monday at midnight. And um, I package them up Tuesday morning. I always do it Tuesday morning. They look kind of like this. They come ready to create, okay? So if you would like to order today, make sure you do that and make sure you get it in by Monday night. Here's the hostess code. And this PDF is over there on my blog right now. Hopefully it's up. Hostess code right here. I've also, I'm also gonna have it here on the desk when I turn my camera around. So that's kind of fun to put in order and then get the three projects. So what do you guys think I'm focusing on? Of course, this new Blended Seasons. Um, this is a limited time bundle. They're calling it Color Your Season, but the stamp set's called Blended Seasons. I don't know. I will probably refer, it, refer to it as both and probably call it the wrong name too. <laughs> but anyway, it's a stamp set and a framelit set and they are only going to be available in August. Um, and they're only while supplies last. So possibly they could even run out before the end of August. So if you really like it, you need to jump on it. Um, here's the stamp set. You'll see here's the stamp set. It's actually two, um, comes, it's a double set, it's huge. And then the framelits, which I am madly in love with. And then I've got this third thing here. These are watercolor pencils, which I'm gonna show you how to use today. Um, Carla, I see your question. Carla's asking me how close am I to my 500,000? So I'm getting there. My goal is to reach 500,000, half a million in sales by September 30th. September 30th is the end of the stamping up year and um, I wanna do it by the end of the year. So it's gonna take a lot of work in August and September um, to get there, but I am trucking along. Hopefully I'll be there by September 30th. Um, thank you for asking, Carla. So, so if you like what we're doing today, make sure that you get these on your order because they are limited time only in August and while supplies last, okay? All right, now I'm gonna do the whole weird thing where I have to flip my phone down and last time I did it, we had it, it was zoomed in, ridiculous, hopefully. Cross your fingers and let's hope that that doesn't happen this time because I'm actually moving you from one stand to another, okay? So I'm gonna turn you around, stay with me. And there's my, there's my street. Let's put you down here and we'll get set up. Whoops. It has been um, interesting trying to get acclimated back to real life after two weeks of vacation. I don't think I've ever been on vacation for two whole weeks. It was, uh, it was interesting <laughs> to try to get back into, into the, you know, the groove. And now we're getting ready for back to school. My kids will um, go back to school in three weeks. So we've got all of that to take care of. All right, you guys, how does it look? Hopefully it didn't zoom in all weird. I don't know, tell me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a minute to see what you guys say. Um, there's a delay, there's always a delay. So, thanks Dana, yeah, I feel like I can get there. It's gonna be really pushing it. I've um, added in some extra events and stuff. And I do have another class to go that I'll be announcing in the next couple days that I'm doing with my friend Rhonda Wade. Um, we team up sometimes and do classes together. So that will be coming. Um, in just a couple days we just have need to finalize it okay so everything looks good you guys my phone looks like it's about to drop out let me okay I think it looks good I think I think I think we're okay all right so here we go blended season see I told you it comes in two it's such a big stamp set that you need two cases for it and here are the framelits oh UPS is here he always comes right when I'm doing this. <laughs> he and I are both like clockwork. All right, so here are the framelits. You guys, I am in love with these framelits. They're stitched, right, the stitched edge. They also stitch on the outside edge, which I'll show you in a little while. And then there are some things here that coordinate with some of the stamps. And then some of them are just extra little fun um, bits to go along with the stamps. Now. The reason why they're calling it blended seasons or blend your seasons is because you can kind of make this stretch all year. You know, you've got the flowers for spring and summer, you've got fall leaves, you've got Christmas stuff, and even a wedding bell wishing you all the best. Um, and then this little, 
I don't know, what is that, you guys? Wheat? <laughs> I don't know. It looks fallish to me. Um, and then the these leaves also. So it's one um, really to carry you throughout the whole year. And here are the cards that we're making. So let's get started. We're going to do this one first. You know what? I should show you. Let me show you the other ones that I've made. You saw this one on my blog. This one I colored with the Stampin' Blends. Uh oh, I need to turn my fan down. I can tell it's shaking the camera. This one is done with Stampin' Blends, lovely lipstick, and the Granny Apple. See, there's that ribbon I was talking about. Um, now, when you use um, a watercolor pencil, here's one that's done with watercolor pencil. This was a swap that I got in Alaska, and I absolutely love it. Let's see who did it. Lynn Field Camp. So she did it with a watercolor pencils, and you can see that when you do watercolor pencils, it is definitely a lighter look. It's more watercolory, and then the um, blends are a bold, nice bold um, image. So it just depends on what you're going for. Okay, so there's that. Here's the wheat. <laughs> you guys, what is it? Wheat? Summer wheat, Dana says. Okay, well, I'm calling it fall wheat, Dana. <laughs> I'm making it fall. Um, and the leaves, of course. And look, look at the stitching on those. So cute. Um, here is my stamp club card today, uh, this month for my stamp club to go. And we're actually making this card in a different kind of color scheme, a little bit different today for our project. And what I did here, well, I'll tell you when I make the card. Um, and then my in color cards too feature it. I'm just using it right and left. See how cute that looks? I love that, that little curvy label shape there. It's so, so cute. All right, so let's make this one. This is Gorgeous Grape and Highland Heather. Um, yes, I love Gorgeous Grape. I cannot stop. You guys, I am not a purple person. Well, I wasn't. Now I think I am. All right, what we're going to do first is uh, we're going to emboss this. I'm trying to think of how I want to do this. You know what? Let's stamp. That way we can die cut and emboss. Well, I have the big shot over here all at the same time. And you know what? What did I do with my stamp? I was just using it. Uh-oh, where did it go? Is it right here? See, I was using it. Here it is. I was using it to make some cards for my team. So I, I was like, I'm going to put it back, and I didn't, but I found it. All right, so Gorgeous Grape. This one is Highland Heather, the lighter one. So I'm going to stamp the flower in Gorgeous Grape right on Highland Heather. And I'm gonna stamp it first. That way I get it lined up perfectly in that cute little, that cute little shape. And then we're gonna do wishing you all the best on Whisper White. All right. Now this framelit that I'm gonna use for the sentiment is from the Lakeside framelits. So it's from another set in case you're wondering. All right, let's move this and get the big shot over here. Charlie says hello. That's my schnauzer in there. You can hear him. He was very happy to see us come back from Alaska. Even though we had a house sitter, I think that he thought we were never coming back. All right, so here's the largest of these label. Let me move that up a little bit. Largest of these labels. And you're going to see how it's going to cut this and leave that stitching on the inside and the outside. Now, one thing I found in coloring this flower is that it is very intense. There's a lot of coloring to do, right? Um, when I did those other ones, it took me a long time. So I was trying to think of some ways to do it simpler. So I'm gonna, we stamped it on Highland Heather, and we're gonna use the new Gorgeous Grape Watercolor Pencil to just add a little bit of dimension, it, dimension to it. Now, see the stitching here on the inside? There's also stitching on the outside. And why do you think that is? Well, because you can use this then as a frame. Um, you could set it down on you know, a card front and put things inside of it and you have the stitching on the outside. So I thought that was really clever that Stamping Up did that. All right, now we're gonna cut out the sentiment and I'm going to put it over here. Well, if I can get it straight because I want the words on the right side. Oh, sorry, my bracelet's making quite a bit of noise. All right, there's that. And now we're gonna emboss. And when you emboss, you can't use your magnetic platform. You've got to use, oh, I thought I had it out. Is it underneath? Hmm. 
I do want to warn you guys today that I am not all together with it. I'm doing my best trying to get back adjusted. And I normally, here's my face. I normally film these videos separately for you guys and put them on YouTube. Um, that's not going to happen this week. I just didn't get it done. So, sorry, there won't be, there will not be any individual videos of these projects this time. Next time, I promise. I'll do it. All right, so here is this Simple Styles embossing folder, and I'm just going to put it on here like that, and we're going to run it through on our regular platform. I folded that over. Hopefully, it's okay. Yep. Oh, look what I did. Did you guys see that? All right. Well, that goes into the scrap, scrap pile. Let's get another one. I thought that might be a problem, but I was trying. Let's see. We'll use this one. That's all right. Hopefully that'll be the only mistake we make today, right? So what we need to do is not fold that in half like that. We need to leave it sitting out and it'll go through like that. So don't do what I did. Gotta leave it open. All right, there we go. Perfect. You know, you don't, you just learn by your mistakes, right, you guys? Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. All right, I think I've got everything cut. Now, let's color these in a little bit. So, I told you about the new watercolor pencils. Here are the new ones, and they're calling it the Assortment 2, because we already have Assortment 1 in the main catalog. I have it open. It's on page 202, right here, and there are 13 of them here. And this set is there's 10 and it's all um it's not the same colors as in there some of them are new colors some of them are older colors that have been around a while but it's there's no duplicate so if you have both of them then you're going to have 23 different colors in watercolor pencil and i did a class um, on watercolor pencils when they first came out you can find that in my pdf store if you want it's a video class but they they color just like um just like a colored pencil and then you take an aqua painter or a blender pen and you go over it and it kind of blends it, smooths it all out, turns it into kind of, you know, kind of like, um, not paint, but you know, ink, how we would watercolor with our ink. So I'm just gonna take some color and go out from the inside, just a little bit. I'm not coloring the whole flower because that does take some time and it is fun and beautiful but I didn't think you guys would wanna see that while I sit here and color for 20 minutes. All right, so I'm gonna take it and also color in these little buds here. Now, you can color this with lots, of, you know, we have lots of different options. Um, the blender pen, which is kind of like a marker that has clear um, fluid in it. See how it just kind of takes it and, and goes and it's good in small spaces. It's also good for beginners because you have a lot more control um, than you do with the one I'm gonna show you next. So I'm just gonna kind of blend that out from the center. All right, so then option number two, whoops, option number two is an aqua painter. And this is um, like a paintbrush and you untwist it and you fill it with water. And then you just come over here and do the same thing. The only difference really here is that the water can come out a lot faster, so you have to be careful and kind of play around with it, get a feel for it. All right, and this is better for much larger spaces. Um, these little buds here, I'm gonna show you in just a second. I would not really wanna do that with an aqua painter because they're so tiny. So I'm gonna go back with the blender and do this. So really, you know, these are a matter of preference. I think I prefer the Aqua Painter just because it gives you more liquid. You can kind of get a little fancier with it. But in small spaces like that, I definitely would want the Blender Pen. So um, I don't know, what do you guys prefer, Aqua Pen or Blender Pen? Also, you can, you can use, uh-oh, my TV just turned itself on. To days of our lives. We'll turn it off. The other thing you can do is um, use our Wink of Stella, just like a paintbrush, and it will carry that color. It'll move the color around, and then you can just run it on your paper and uh, 
run it clear for the next time. So it, and then it also gives us a little bit of glitter, which I love. All right, so three ways to use your pencils. Fun, right? Fun and easy. I think that um, if you're a beginner stamper or an experienced stamper, it can appeal to both. All right, now we're gonna stamp this again, but we need to clean it first because we're gonna stamp it. Darn it, I keep carrying things away when I am um, making other projects. Hmm. It was right here, where did it go? My Simply Shammy has disappeared. All right, well, you know what? I'm just gonna get a paper towel then. It's here. It's here somewhere. And it doesn't really matter. We're gonna use um, black because we're gonna watercolor this on shimmer paper today. And shimmer paper is a really, it's what I prefer to watercolor on. And the reason why you wouldn't wanna use Whisper White is because it begins to pill um, if you put too much water on it. So I'm gonna stamp just, let's see, just this flower right here in stays on. And stays on is the, the black you wanna use if you're going to be applying water. Um, now remember, if you're using the blends, then you want to use Memento Black. It's like mixing oil and water, those two, so you have to make sure that you use the right one. So use Memento Black if you're going to watercolor. And No, no. <laughs> Memento black if you're using Stampin' Blends and Stays On black if you're gonna use water. Stays On will dry real quickly and it will not run. Memento will run. It'll smear with the water. And then the blends, because they're alcohol, the Stays On reacts really badly with it. So you want to only use the water-based black with your blends. I'm sure I made that clear as mud today. All right, so what I've done is I've stamped it on shimmer, and I'm gonna take my aqua painter and I'm gonna color it in. And it gives you such a different look than when you have stamped it right there on cardstock. You definitely need to color the whole thing when you've done a white cardstock. Shimmer, this is called, they call it shimmer white. And it's not as white as our Whisper White. It's somewhere kind of in between Very Vanilla and Whisper White. But we're coloring it all the way so it doesn't really even matter. All right, so there's that. And then we wanna do the center. So we will use, I'm using the Crush Curry, which is in the new, the new set. All right, now fussy cutting. I know, raise your hand if you like fussy cutting. Um, Julie, which block do you use for the blender pen? So the blender pen you would want to use the stays on because it's water-based. Good question. I don't know exactly what is in the blender pen. I don't know, but I need to find that out. <clears throat> but I know that you, it's like water coloring. Maybe it's just water, who knows? Does anybody know? All right, so get your little tiny scissors, the smallest scissors you have, and follow this around. It could stay on the outside of the black edge. Memento, Marlene is saying memento. Yes, memento for, for blender. You're saying memento for blender? Looks like we need to do a science experiment and find out. Oh, well, maybe you're talking about the blends. There's two different things, blends and then there's blender pen. So blender pen is what I just showed you. And that's when you're watercoloring and that stays on. Stamp, I know, <laughs> it does, it's confusing. The blender, okay, let's have a lesson. These are Stampin' Blends and this is the blender pen. They, sh they should have done differently, huh? They should have named that differently because it's two different things. This is clear, this is watercoloring, and this is a marker, <coughs> memento with a marker, stays on for watercoloring. Not the blends, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. So she said she does mean, she does mean this. So um, stays on, yeah, stays on. All right, let's put this card together. Gosh, I feel like it's taking me forever to get this card together. All right, dimensionals, we need some dimensionals. 
Yeah, I'm gonna go way over an hour today. Sorry, you guys, I've just been chitty chatty. My girls are in there and they can't be on the internet until I get off because it makes it super, you know, glitchy. And so they're gonna be mad when I go over. So we gotta hurry. We don't want mad summer children when they're playing their games. All right, so there we did. We Whoops, we put that down with the dimensionals. Now, here is the woven um, granny apple green. And what I have done is I have cut off the long edge, cut it completely off, and I'm just gonna pull these out like that. I love to do this to the ribbon. It's so fun because then you just have these fibers. And I'm gonna wrap it around. Let's do four fingers. Wrap and wrap and then kind of pinch it in the middle like that. All right, now I am going to get my glue dots. Your kids go back next Friday, Kelly. I'm moving to Florida. When did you guys get out of school? We actually went through the first week of June, which, I, which is pretty late, whoops. Oh, hello, there it is. So I'm putting down a couple glue dots and I'm gonna lay that down, squish it in like that. And then I'm gonna get a dimensional, put it right on top, squish it all down and put that flower that we colored right there. Right now, I don't like these little stragglers over here. So let's cut those off. There we go. And <clears throat> tuck it all in. And there we have it, beautiful. Look, I did stripes sideways and stripes up and down. That's because look, one card is that way and one card is that way. It doesn't matter, right? It doesn't matter. Hmm. I had Sometimes I cut the card bases differently than the example and people ask me, I can't, I don't know how to make it. But guess what, it's the same, it's the same. All right, what do you guys think? Fun, right? All right, let's see. Our first half day is Monday. Oh my gosh, you guys. Back to school, yay, I love back to school. <sighs> okay, project number one is done. Let's move on to project number two. This one I love, love, love. And I have to say that this is based on a project on a card that I saw someone do online. These were her colors and it's similar. And I don't remember who. It's not exactly the same, but it's very similar. So I went, I loved it and I went with it as my inspiration. All right, we're sticking with those same colors. Gorgeous grape. Um, where's my card base? Here it is. Gorgeous grape and Highland Heather, which are these two. And then we've got Granny Apple and Lemon Lime. Don't those look awesome together? Now you can see I've done, I've made the sentiment really the focus here instead of the image. And I'm gonna take the image with Granny Apple Green and I'm just gonna stamp it. Mm, I don't like how that worked. Mm, let's turn it, we'll cover that up. Let me start down here. I'm gonna go along the edge of the card. And mm, there's a glare and I'm having a hard time. There we go. All right, so I, I did it three times. Now I'm gonna take my stamp and blend the light. Is this the light? No, yeah, this is the light. And I'm just gonna color in half of each leaf. Now you can do the side half or you can do the bottom half, but just enough to give it a little bit of color, kind of some dimension to those leaves. Okay, now notice that this is totally monochromatic and I'm not using what I told you a minute ago, Memento, because you can use our classic ink pads. It's all very confusing, the science of our ink, right? The classic ink pads are water-based. So you can use them with the blends also. And it gives a much softer look. So you guys back to school. I need to think of some back to school projects. I have just been thinking about Alaska for like two months straight. And now that I'm back, I need to think about it. Back to school. All right, <clears throat> so if you guys can see now, just see how I added a little bit of color to that. Not a lot, nothing super fancy. This is, I think we can put this away. We don't need this anymore. This is 
Why does everything disappear? If Anne Marie is on here, this should make you feel better. Because we always we always are hard on ourselves when we lose things while we're working. <laughs> Goodness, and I've lost like five things today. All right, <clears throat> so what we're gonna do is open a new adhesive. Did I not use adhesive on the last one? I guess I didn't. Good thing I have a drawer full. All right, this is the Gorgeous Grape DSP from the Brights DSP stack. All right, inch and a half wide. Remember the measurements and everything are on that PDF over there on my blog. So go pull that up and you'll have all the measurements and all of the, I don't know why I have this here. I don't need that. And all of the products that I've used. Man, I am a hot mess today. <coughs> and I've got a tickle in my throat. I don't know what that's about. All right, I'm gonna use the thank you. Now you can do several things to make this have these banners on the end. But while I was at Angie's house, she says she loves to do it this way. This is the truly tailored tag. And you can just stick it in there like that. You have a little bit more control of this um, than when you're using the banner, triple triple banner punch, because it goes way down like that and you're, you kind of have to play around to see how far down it's gonna go. So I kind of like that. Thanks, Ange, if you're watching. All right, so we need to cut some shapes. So let's move this out of the way and get the big shot. And I'm gonna bring back the magnetic platform. And we're gonna use these in a second. I don't know why they're over here already. All right, now like I mentioned, these framelits um, have all these little doodads. So see this, we're gonna cut all of this. I'm gonna use the smallest little curvy label like that. And let's put this one, whoops, we gotta put the clear plate down first. And we're gonna see if we can get them all done together at the same time. Although we have to cut this one several times. All right, so here's the green. This is the lemon lime twist. Actually, those are the only two I'm gonna do right now. We're gonna actually cut that flower Two more times. We're going to do it out of Highland Heather and Gorgeous Grape. Oh, thanks, Victoria. Yeah, you know, I was looking around too. There's lots of, if you search blended seasons on Pinterest, there are a lot. Um, and I tried not to look because then it clouds my vision and I only want to make what I saw. <laughs> but uh, there are some great ones. All right, so now I'm just going to cut it with this piece of gorgeous grape because I just want the flower right there and then I'm gonna do it one more time with Highland Heather right here and we're gonna just trim that flower off and then I think we're ready to start stacking things up there we go all right out of the way and ooh, all kinds of little tidbits down here. All right, so here's the Highland Heather flower. I'm just gonna trim off those little pieces. Here's the lemon lime twist, and here's the gorgeous grape. All right, thanks for sharing, you guys. I appreciate that, those of you that are sharing the video. You will be entered to win. Now I'm gonna use my glue dots. You could use your liquid adhesive if you're good with liquid, liquid adhesive. We all know that Erica is not. Just a couple glue dots. I like the control of glue dots. I have much better control. All right, now I'm gonna put the, well, let's find where it matches. Right there, I'm gonna put that one there. Then I'm gonna take this one. I'm just gonna kind of bend it up a little bit. All right. Then we're gonna put that right there. Yes, I know there's a hole there. That's okay. Do we want it off-centered? I think we do, so you'll be able to see that purple. Yes, there's a hole there, but it still is enough to grab onto. And then, let's pull over our glitter dots. I think I've gone through about 20 packages of glitter dots already since the catalog came out. And we're gonna put that gorgeous grape glitter dot right there in the center. And, ta-da! All right, let's layer it up. Hmm. I'm not gonna say it, but I almost didn't know where these were. 
<laughs> it's one of those days. One of those days. Okay, so this is the smallest little curvy label with dimensionals, of course. And then we're gonna do the sentiment. Two more dimensionals. There. No, let's do a little bit higher. That. And then one more dimensional. Oops, I got two. One more dimensional right there. And right there. Gorgeous, but wait, that's not all. Let's do the inside too. Look, you can see, I think I messed that up last time too and that's why I was on the inside. But that's okay, it looks cute. All right, let's get this and stamp it. What did I stamp it with? That's why we need Memento. Memento Black goes with the Stampin' Blends. Did we do anything else? Nope. And then you're gonna just take your mm, light granny apple, color it in. This is um, decorating the inside of a card, really just kind of takes it up a notch. I only do it about once, one out of, I don't know, maybe five cards when I really feel inspired. But I think it's really nice when I see a card online um, that is fancy on the inside too. All right, so I went over with the light. Now I'm gonna go back with the dark and just kind of add a little bit here and there, mostly towards the bottom. And go back with the light. And color, blend them in. We have so many ways of coloring now with our blends and our pencils and our stamp and write markers and our aqua painters and our ink pads that, I mean, these, these stamp sets that have coloring really make me excited because then you just have lots of ways to color. Makes it fun. I think coloring is quite relaxing. In fact, I've got some swap cards that are needing to be colored, and I think that's what I'm going to do on my Friday night. Sounds exciting, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, there it is. Aren't those colors gorgeous? And a shout out to whoever it was whose card I saw. I wish that I remembered. It was right before I left, and I didn't remember. This is not even. Let's cut that. These these um, colors with this card and the sentiment was just beautiful. So awesome. Number two, I hope you guys liked it. It's very different. Look, we've got... The same color palette, but just very, very different. All right, next. One more, you guys. Let's see what time is it, 2.57. Okay, okay. One more, one more. I try to keep it to an hour, but it's not gonna happen today. All right, you guys, this is the Christmas card I came up with. And do you recognize that paper? Let's see, do I need these and this? That paper is from the Broadway birthday paper, you know? The class that I'm doing, this class, look, it's that paper right there, and it's a Christmas card. So just because, just because a, you know, package of paper or whatever is designed for one certain holiday, doesn't mean it has to be, right? All right, now we're gonna stamp both the holly and the sentiment on this small whisper white. And normally, I would say stamp first and then cut, however, I wanna make sure that I get these in the right position. So I'm actually gonna cut it first. And we'll see how it goes. Because the, it has to, the sentiment has to be just in the right place to fit. So let's cut it. Here's the small, smallest little stitched label. I love this framelit set and I, as a demonstrator, can only use what's current. And so I'm really sad for myself that this framelit set will be gone at the end of the month because it's just awesome and I think I would use it all the time for my classes and stuff, but that's the way it goes. It's just a limited time only. All right, so we're using the Stampin' Blend, so I'm back over to my Memento ink pad. Remember, Memento is water-based, so you can use it with your alcohol-based markers. There we go, and now, Merry Christmas just fits right there. Perfect. All right, so Memento Black with a Stampin' Blends. And I am again using Granny Apple. And we'll start with the light. 
and color it in. Granny Apple is one of our new blend colors in the annual catalog. Um, I've had a lot of questions about my Stampin' Blends Club that I did last year. Yes, I will be doing another Stampin' Blends Club as soon as my In Color Club is over. And Stamp um, Blends Club is where you order, was it three sets? Three sets of blends each month, and then I send you two projects and a tutorial. Now, maybe you still want the tutorial and the projects, um, but you've already ordered your blends. No problem, because guess what? All you have to do is make sure that you order an equal amount, whatever amount three blends is, and I will still send you the projects. So don't worry if you've already started buying your blends, but you wanna join the Blends Club, which will be November. Um, you can still join, and you will still get the projects. You just have to make sure you get your orders in, and you can order anything you want. All right, so I went with the light, and now I'm gonna do kind of the same thing I did with the leaves with the dark, just kind of down where they're kind of all bunched together. That's where it would be the darkest. And I'm really far away, I feel like, today. See how that looks? Now we're just gonna take this, and we wanna do it before it dries. So I probably shouldn't have just been picking it up and showing you, but that's okay. So you wanna work kind of quickly to get these to where they will all blend, and you won't see any lines, which is my favorite thing about the blends, is you just have a smooth, you know, no marker lines. Nothing worse than coloring an image and then thinking, wow, that looks like my six-year-old did it because regular markers will just leave, you know, streaky lines. You know what, I don't need to use this brush end. I need to use this other end to do these little berries. It's difficult for me to think about Christmas right now. What about you guys? Do you guys start working on um, Christmas stuff way ahead of time? This time last year I designed a Christmas class. We did a, we did a Rhonda and I did a holiday class in August and it almost killed me to, to do Christmas when it's a thousand degrees outside. Okay, so there we go, we've got it. Now we're going to do a whole bunch of these little doodads, these little squirrel, swirls and things. Janet, what did, you, what did you say? I call the Broadway paper the mullet paper. This, oh my God, that's hilarious. Business in the front, party in the back. You are totally right. It is the mullet paper. I love it. That paper is crazy. I love it, but it's crazy. It's crazy. And you can really use it for so many different things. Okay, so let me tell you what I'm doing. I put down a dryer sheet. I've talked to you guys about the dryer sheets, right? Dollar store. These are the, my favorite kind. They're from the dollar store. You get 55 of them for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to put down the dryer sheet and then I'm going to put down. I better look and see what I'm cutting. We can only cut one of these at a time because I only have it only came with one. For some reason, there's two of the little um, gold ones, but there's only one of the foliage. So we can cut the two little gold ones. Those kind of look like antlers to me, like they're gonna go to the reindeer. So then when I peel this up, it just stays there on the dryer sheet. It makes it quick. When you're cutting a bunch of things, it makes it quick so you don't have to, you know, poke it out, wait for it, you know, try to get it out, move it over. This just is stuck on. And somebody asked me if it damages your framelits and my answer is I have no idea. <laughs> I have never had a problem with it. And I use my framelits a ton like this. See, isn't that awesome? So then I can even just take this. Now this is grainy apple and do the same thing. Um, you know, this isn't a, an official stamping up product, the dryer sheet. So I have no idea. All I know is that it works really well for me. And I use it all the time, especially when I'm mass producing and I have to cut maybe 50 of these. Can you see how that would make that go way faster? Because you just keep moving the die and then when your, your little piece is filled up, you take it off and they're all just stuck there. I know, whoever invented that idea is brilliant. It wasn't me. 
but whoever it was it is a smarty. Okay, so let's put our card together. We've got a thick Whisper White card base. Okay, look. So which would be the party? I don't know. Who was it? Janet who said that? Business in the front, party in the back. <laughs> That's funny, and you know what? That would even be cute like that. You could even use that for Christmas, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go with what I had. Ooh, that was weird. All right, Fast Fuse. Not being very nice there. Okay, there's the DSP on the Whisper White card base. Now, where did my piece go? Right here. I'm going to just take my adhesive and put it like that. I'm gonna peel these off. And they're not sticky, it's just, I don't know, the dryer sheet's a little bit sticky, but it doesn't make your things sticky. And I'm gonna put one there, and then I'm gonna get the other color, the lemon lime. And I'm gonna put that, yep, I'm gonna put that like that. See how that's looking? Now I don't wanna make them too far out because then it'll be sticking off the card, which I probably did. So I probably need to take that one and put it up. That's probably why I did that in the beginning. All right, so now let's do more Granny Apple. Like that. Be careful, don't tear. And hmm, what if we folded that out a little bit like that? Nobody's gonna see the back. See how I did that? All right, very cool. All right, now we're gonna put dimensionals and I like to just stick my dimensionals right on top of those little pieces to keep them extra secure. We'll put one in the front like that. All right, there. Now, where's our little gold antlers? I don't think that's what they're called, but yes, Judy, I am from, I'm live from Texas. Are you in Texas, Judy? All right, I'm gonna use a glue dot. And these glue dots are much fatter than, okay, that glue dot just is not working. These glue dots are much fatter than the actual antler swirl. What in the world? All right, I'm gonna fold it. There we go, all right. Stick it down. You know what, this time, instead of sticking it to the antler, I'm gonna come stick it over here, maybe because the dryer sheet, but I've never had that happen before. And right there. All right, so pretty, right? But we need some more red. How about these red jewels? These are in the annual catalog, but they are also in the holiday catalog because I have a feeling we're all gonna be, I need to be using my new little tool to get these off. We're all gonna be using these red jewels during Christmas, so it might be a good idea for you to start stock, stocking up on them now, because you know what happens. We all start using them and then they go in back order. I mean, this is one of those things you can just already foresee. Everybody's gonna be using them. Let's do one. All right, and now for the real red cotton ribbon. And I love just a good old cotton ribbon. You know, it's not too fancy, it's not too wide. This one is probably gonna be what I use during the holidays. All right, so I'm gonna just tie it here on the seam of the ribbon. Now I was telling you a minute ago, showing you on the first card how one folds to the side and one folds at the top. If you're gonna do your ribbon on the side like this, you have to make sure the fold is on the side. Otherwise, your ribbon will have to go on the top, which is cute too. What is happening? What is happening? I think I need a nap. Okay, lay down ribbon. Just tie that ribbon up here and then we'll, we'll arrange it afterwards. Hi, Maxie, are you adjusted to the time difference? It's crazy, what time is it over there? All right, so I'm gonna move this over and get these on this side there we go look at that you guys so cute a christmas card that doesn't use christmas paper it's the party or it's the business so cute oh judy yeah you're in, you're having a big storm man i wish it would storm here all right you guys that is it for today let's look at what we did 
let's review, you know, the teacher and me. We have to review what we did today. We did Christmas. We did Wishing You All the Best, where we used the watercolor pencils. And then over here we did Thank You, where we stamped on cardstock and colored it with the blends. And this we colored in the blends on Whisper White. So what do you guys think? Do you like the blended seasons? Here's the stamp set and the framelits. You need to get it, you guys. I'm telling you, this is a set that will carry you through the year. It will be, it'll be great for all times. Um, now remember, if you would like these three make and takes for free, your order needs to be in by, when is it? Tuesday, no, Monday night at midnight. I'm looking for my PDF. Who knows? Who knows where it went? Um, if you put your order in, by Monday night, I'm gonna send you all three for free. Here's the hostess code. I have no idea where the PDF went. Here are the cards that you'll get in the mail from me. They will ship on Tuesday free if you put in your $30 order. Uh, make sure you go over there and print off that PDF. And if you want that $5 coupon for next month, you need to bump your order to 50. So 50 is kind of the magical number. $50 will get you a um, $5 coupon. It'll also get you the tutorial bundle for free. Um, so, you know, why wouldn't you? And plus this bundle is, it's a pricey one, you guys. The Claremont, I believe is 67, but it's worth it. Look at all of that. Two sets plus framelits. All right, so I think that I got all the questions. I probably didn't. Let me just scroll for a second. Hello, thank you everybody who joined today and for sharing. Don't forget to enter for the prize for next week. Snow swirls, Janet, you're right. They do look like snow swirls. All right. Well, you guys, thanks for joining me. I better, I better sign off before my kids come demanding their internet back. I appreciate you joining me. And next week, I think I'm going to do the stamp set called Free Cake. Have you seen it? It's a retro little birthday set. So hopefully you'll join me next Friday at the same time. Thanks so much. Have a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you have questions. Bye, you guys.